Welcome back everyone. This is CBM Reviews and I'm Cameron. 2017 was an amazing year for comic book movies and I'm here to give you my top five list for the year. We had some ups, we had some downs, and I'm here to tell you which ones I thought were the highest of the highs. Let's get started. Number five, Justice League. Justice League is directed by Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon who mainly worked in post-production. It stars Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Henry Cavill, Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, and Jason Momoa. And I'm going to tell you, this was not a perfect movie. It had a lot of issues, it had a lot of tonal problems, it had a lot of pacing problems, it had a lot of story problems, it had a lot of bad guy problems, it had some CGI issues. So why is this on my list? Because it's a dream project. Ever since we saw Marvel get their stuff together and put out the Avengers, we've been salivating over the idea of a Justice League film, and we finally got it. Was it the Justice League film that we dreamed of? Not exactly. We had the big three with Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. We also have some Aquaman. We have some Flash. We have some Cyborg. We could have used a little Martian Manhunter. We could have used a little Green Lantern. Maybe. But. What I have to say is that for a first outing on this, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't all bad. Even though it doesn't quite get the home run, we still got a nice double out of it. Number four, Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming was directed by John Watts. It stars Tom Holland in the title role and also features Michael Keaton, Robert Downey Jr., Marissa Tomei, and Zendaya. Spider-Man Homecoming was actually a refreshing movie because we finally got out of the Spider-Man funk. We've been in this funk for 13 years, and that's if you don't count Spider-Man's role in Civil War. We see a great Spider-Man slash Peter Parker going back to the high school roots, the one that we originally fell in love with because even though he has all these powers, he has all of these personal problems. Also, we've got Michael Keaton starring as the Vulture. He is absolutely phenomenal. For the first time in a while, we get a villain that's actually truly memorable and charismatic. And he's one of the first Marvel villains in a long time that doesn't die. I really enjoyed watching this movie in theaters, and now all we gotta do is get a J. Jonah Jameson, and it will be complete. Number three, Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was directed by Taika Waititi, and it starred Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Mark Ruffalo, Kate Blanchett, and Tessa Thompson. I gotta be honest, guys, this was the surprise hit of 2017 for me. I was not expecting this to do that much, but it came with a vengeance. It entertained me thoroughly. Sometimes a little bit too much, but the fun was definitely worth it for me. The action sequences in this movie are just as fierce as the jokes are funny. Whenever Kate Blanchett is in an action piece, she is slicing and dicing, and it is brutal. And whenever you see the Hulk on screen, he's the Hulk. And this is one of the times that we get to see the Hulk be amazing. I just wish he could do it in his own movie. If your character has four letters in the name, it's going to be great. Let's see, there's Thor... There's Loki, there's Hela, there's Hulk, there's Korg, there's Odin, uh, there's Jeff, there's Elba, there's Kate. I mean, yeah, we've already said Hela, but she's, she's really good in this. Number two, Logan. Logan was directed by Peter Mangold, stars Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, and Daphne Keene. This is the Wolverine movie that I have been waiting to see forever. This is the perfect marriage with a Western and a comic book movie, and it does not disappoint. Some people said that it was a little too violent. This is Wolverine. He's all about some violence. And some people said that it was a little dark, but it fit the tone of the movie. I absolutely loved everything about the movie, and if you were a fan of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine since he was first cast in the first X-Men and watched him through every single movie, when you get to the end, yeah, yeah, yeah. My number one pick for 2017, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was directed by Patty Jenkins and starred Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, Connie Nielsen, Robin Wright, 
and Danny Huston. I loved everything about this movie, with like one minor exception. I think that this movie is akin to the very first Superman that came out, where you can believe a man can fly, and this one, you can believe a woman is wonderful. There could have been scenes where it was cheesy and it was hokey and it didn't come off that way. It came out authentic and honest and, and it had an integrity about it. They took their time developing her as a character from growing up on the island of Themyscira to going into the world of man. I may not have been in love with the fight at the very end of the movie, but it wasn't just a physical battle. It was a battle of ideologies. And so because of that, it almost redeems that thing that was going on. And you look at Wonder Woman after the movie's over, and you can't help but fall in love with the character. Something that I wasn't expecting to do when I first watched it, and something that I was thrilled to do a second and a third time in theaters. Wonder Woman is my pick for the 2017 Best Comic Book Movie. So that's my top five for 2017. What'd you guys think? Did I leave a movie out that you thought should be on this list? If you think so, hit that comment section and let me know what your top five are and why I should have put Guardians of the Galaxy 2 in it. Also, if you liked everything else about the video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. As always, I'm Cameron for CBM Reviews. We'll see you next time.